What's up gamers, Chongo here, and today I've got a commentary for you guys. Uh, the gameplay is Team Deathmatch on Mission on Modern Warfare 3. Now the gameplay might start off a bit slow, but after a while it starts to speed up and get good. I think I went 24 for 9. And in today's commentary I'm going to provide some steps or helpful tips that can help people to start making commentaries. Because one of the things that helped me, like when I first wanted to start commentaries, was watching guides like this on YouTube. And I always thought one day I'd make one, so I thought today is a pretty good day to make one. Now the first thing that you need when trying to make a commentary is you need the idea or the topic. So for example, the idea or the topic for this one is obviously how to make a commentary. And then you can, you know, work out what you're actually going to say off that topic. Now there are some commentators that just wing it. They just go ahead, start recording and start talking and it ends up being an alright commentary. But I wouldn't recommend doing that all the time. I'd probably give it a go maybe once or twice and if you're no good at it don't do it just come up with a topic and it's a lot better to than hearing someone say I'm um, uh, and not know what they're talking about throughout the whole commentary now when selecting a topic or the idea for your video make sure you actually have either an interest in it or you have information about it because there's nothing worse than picking a topic that you know nothing about or little about and then trying to do a commentary because people will watch it and say hang on this guy's got no idea what he's talking about and that's not going to look good for you because you're going to be umming and ahhing not knowing what you're talking about and everyone else is going to think you don't know much. Once you've got your idea for the commentary what I do is I grab a pen and a piece of paper and I write down dot points just so I can make sure I've got my idea out and flowing properly and I don't mix them up and say things in the wrong order and I actually remember what I'm saying as well. Now some people say not to do this because you may be tempted to read off it but the way I combat that is I just write it down on paper instead of typing it because if you type it most people can type faster than they can write therefore you type more so if you type out a whole script then you're more likely to read off it which doesn't work out that well because you end up just being monotone and yeah that does not sound good it sounds like someone's watching a robot which yeah doesn't look good for your commentary so I recommend just writing down dot points about it so you can make sure you know what you're doing unless you're able to store it all in your head and just speak then that's all good. Now once you've got your idea for your topic and you got it all written out and all that kind of stuff then you need to work on getting some gameplay footage. Now if you're going to use a PC you need to probably look into some screen recording programs. Don't use a camera it looks terrible. Um, yeah and for the screen recording programs you could probably look into something like Fraps or whatever you can find that works out really well. Now if you're using a console you're probably going to have to use a HD PVR to get really good quality but in saying that, that doesn't mean your commentaries can't be good unless you've got a HD PVR. I mean, with me, I started commentating on this channel a couple of months ago, and I only got my PVR this week, and all I was doing is I was playing PC games and recording with Fraps and just doing my commentaries as I would with just gameplay from a PC game, so that doesn't matter as much. Because most of the time when people go to watch a commentary, they don't actually really watch the gameplay, they usually just watch it to hear you. So don't worry too much about the gameplay, but in saying that, it's nothing worse than watching someone recording with a camera that looks really bad quality. So yeah, if you're going to get serious into commentating or whatever, you can probably buy yourself a HD PVR, but you don't need it to start. You can use other screen recording programs if you want to use PC or stuff like that. Also, when you're getting the gameplay, don't think that it has to be ultimate MLG, best game in the world kind of gameplay. It just needs to be gameplay that's alright to watch, and yeah, just not terrible. Just have a couple of goes at it, try and get gameplay that's alright, and you are playing alright if you're doing a multiplayer game, obviously, and yeah, if it's an alright gameplay, then keep it, if it's not, try again, but don't, if you're taking forever to make one, yeah, just pick one that is your best out of whatever you can do, because not everyone's, you know, really, really good and top-notch at games. Now, make sure the microphone that you choose to record your voice for the commentary, make sure it's an alright mic and it sounds good, like it doesn't have to be a really expensive one, just something that you can hear your voice clear. Like the headset that I'm using to record this is only cost I think about 30 bucks and it sounds alright quality and it's not some $100 mic or something like that. So you don't need to spend heaps of money to get you know a good quality mic. Okay now this is a mistake I've seen some commentators do and when they do it it sort of wrecks the commentary. What they don't do is they don't lower the game volume and when you don't do it and it's an extremely loud game like they've got everything else right, the quality's good, the topic that they've chosen is really interesting and then they go to talk and you can't hear them because there's explosions and shooting happening in the game and it's just like I, yeah, it's really annoying and you can't understand what they're saying and once you've just done a commentary like that, everything you've just said, no one knows what you're talking about because they can't hear you. So remember to lower the game volume so that your voice is over the top of it so people can actually understand what you're saying. Okay, now, length of the commentary, this is basically up to you. Just try and make sure it's not too short because if you have like a two minute commentary, people are going to be listening all of a sudden, it's just going to end. But try not to make it too long so that people, you know, are sitting there waiting for it to end. So I usually go for around five to ten minutes. 
mostly five, but yeah, just, just do what you want with that and make sure you're happy with the length. The last thing is everyone starts out as a noob, so just keep making commentaries and eventually you're going to get better. Now, if you've got any questions or comments, please put them below or inbox me. I'll reply to everything I can. And if you like this video, please subscribe. See you guys next time.